night, Henry and Gordon were alone with talk of nothing but bootlaces. Remember when they had to use a boot? James tried to get back by talking about Henry, who got shot on a hill, but they wouldn't listen. You talk too much, little James, said Gordon. I'm the only engine who can pull the express. This engine knows that the signalman sets the switches to make the engines run on the right track. Come along and get my coaches. Don't be late. James went to get Gordon's coaches. They were all... I wish I were going with you. Gordon, with much noise and blowing of steam, got ready to back on. As soon as they heard the conductor's whistle, Gordon stopped. Bye, little James. See you tomorrow. James watched the train disappear and then went back to work. He pushed some freight cars into their prop. There was Gordon trying to sneak into the station without being noticed. Gordon, is it tomorrow? Gordon didn't answer. He just let off steam feed before me. I was switched off the main line onto the loop. I had to go all round. Sir Topham Hatt climbed onto a cart and blew the conductor's whistle so loudly that they all stopped. Will you pull it for us, James? I'll try. So James was coupled on and everyone got... Come along, come along, puffed James. And the coaches. Hurry, 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 puffed James. And they soon reached the station. Everyone said thank you to... Would you like to pull the express... Please, answered James. Next day, when James came by, Gordon was pushing freight cars. I like with those co- We'll show them. And he gave his cars a- James and Gordon left. Oh, James sometimes takes the express to get Gordon. Gordon never talks about bootlaces, and they're both quite a legit freight cars.